right guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are at the PGA Demo Day 2019. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with what Demo Day is, this is uh, pretty much where all the tech companies, golf tech companies, anything, anyone that's in, involved in the golf business, they're all here uh, displaying some of their merchandise and they have a massive driving range. It's a one mile circumference, full on circle driving range where everyone just gets to hit and try out new products and it should be a fun day. Yeah, we're like kids in a candy store. <laughs> we're super pumped for this. We're gonna try out all the different clubs all the different manufacturers and uh, we're just excited to be here and uh, can't wait to try everything out. That's our president. He's handles all the Matt. Nice to meet Marco. 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 Nice to meet you. Good. Okay, so we've been around for five years. This is our sixth year and basically this is a funner, fitter, faster alternative to the golf cart. You can have a lot more fun on this board because you're engaged, you're riding like a surfboard, a skateboard. It's very, very simple, easy to ride because of the stability bar. It's very stable. You'll play about 25 to 50% faster on a golf more than you will with two people on a golf cart. But you can go straight to your ball, get your shot, and you can also go close to the greens and the tee boxes and not have to do the 90 degree rule nearly as often. So, How fast are they? These can go anywhere from 10 miles an hour to 15 miles an hour. So you can ride as fast as you want to and as fast as you're able to safely get off of them if you get in trouble. And can we ride them around right now? Yes, you can. Yeah. We've got some area right here. You can go down there and ride around. I'll show you how to do it. And you can uh, hop on track. You ready to go? Let's do it. All right. Okay. And if you get in trouble, just pull your finger off the throttle and stop. There you go. Hard left turn now. That's it. Lean hard. You can't turn it over. That's it. There you go. Keep going. There you go. As long as you keep moving, it will not turn over right now. Right there. There you go. All right. Now we're juiced up. Yes. <laughs> Put your clubs on front, sand and seed bottle, cooler on the back, and you're ready to go. And how do we find these? Go on to golfboard.com and there's a little space on there that says where to ride. Perfect. All right, Thank sir. You. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. That was fun. Nice guy. Yeah. Please. Um, so, Endo, are you guys familiar with Endo? Uh, yeah. Endo Forging House. Okay, so Endo's widely considered the or one of the best um, forging houses in the world. It's in Nagata, Japan, as you mentioned. Um, they've done a lot of the I'll say best of best over the last 20 years in North America. So like if we were sitting around having a beer and we were like, oh, remember the, the insert the blank here, like Bridgestone J33 or Titleist 690 MV or even recently the Shrix on stuff. Like that's really good for stuff. Chances are Endo did that. Um, and so it's being the in-house brand, they can take all that they learned doing all that great stuff, pack it into one product line. Um, so that's what the Epon brand is. And um, it's kind of the best of both worlds with their forging process. It creates... Uh, kind of the feel that everyone associates with, oh, you gotta be a good player, you gotta have blades uh, to, to get that feel, but then still have the super game improvement characteristic of like, you know, something as wide and as, as um, forgiving as that might be. Um, and then there, there's some other models floating around too, but um, so that's kind of the quick rundown, and then there's everything from blade to what we call super game improvement. So what are these? So that's kind of middle of the road, we'll call that player distance or game improvement minus <laughs> instead of plus. Um, so that's kind of that. So there's a there's a blade, a cavity back, that one, and then a five. So that's a 300, 500, and 700. Everything except the 700 series and then this utility iron are all one piece forgings. And then the, the 705 has a spring steel face forged into it. So performance wise, it's up there or as good as the PXGs, the best Callaway, the best Taylor made, the best ping that's out there. Um, so that one there is kind of the middle of the road. Um, okay. So there's MBCB 303 or 305 is coming soon in the middle, then 500, 700. Oh. Yeah. Alright, so I've hit about seven or eight shots at this e-pond. Uh, this is uh, the AF 
303 model. I'm sitting the 600, it's coming out a little bit low, uh, but that might just be a fitting thing for me with the shaft. But overall, it's come out really soft off the face. Uh, seems like it's got a pretty big sweet spot. I hit, miss it the first couple for sure, and it still went pretty pretty far. Um, but yeah, these, these irons seem, seem solid. Huh? Yeah, I agree with Marco. Um, I've got the uh, kind of the tour blade-ish uh, Epon, and um, I'm hitting the six iron a little bit lower than normal, and I think uh, it possibly could be the shaft. Yeah. Um, but they feel really good, really soft. Ball flight's pretty good on it. Uh, I like them. Coach and I have never heard of Epon, to be honest with you. We're, you know, we play golf, but we're not so snobs and all the equipment. So we're learning some stuff today, and uh, cool company. Check and them I, out. And I think any Japanese company puts a lot of effort and energy into their irons, and have takes a lot of pride in uh, the products. So yep. um, I, I feel like it's a really good product. I like it, and uh, definitely go check it out. Good to meet you guys. Excited to try some of your products. What can you tell us about it? Yeah, yeah, we can try whatever you'd like. Try the product. Uh, yes. Irons, obviously most well known for our golf ball. Uh, irons have always been great. This is one product that we're really, really excited about in 2019. Uh, really, really pushed the limits in terms of how we're making a driver. Um, I don't know if you guys know anything about Zexio. Uh, no, we don't. Zexio is our premium brand. Uh, the materials that go into making a Zexio product are top of the line. So the titanium that we use in the face is stronger and thinner than anything in the market and kind of stretch it across the face a lot thinner, a lot hotter across the entire face. Um, we've added a cup face, these things are producing crazy amounts of ball speed. Um, added a carbon crown which makes the driver a lot straighter, it feels and looks phenomenal. Um, but yeah, I'd like you guys to try them out. So new this year in 2019, we got our new Z-Forged, our new blade iron. Um, your muscle back, uh, the smallest top line, uh, softest feeling, most workability. Uh, we also have the 785, which is your muscle cavity, kind of your player's cavity. Um, and our 585 iron is our, is our player's distance. It's a forged body with a steel face. It gives those players that distance that they need and the look that they feel that they want. It's kind of a combination. You're well with all three. Can we get a couple of those? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Um, let me just grab a 7 iron for you. We've got some drivers over here. I'll bring some stuff right out. Yeah. This guy. Alright, so uh, they got a couple different options uh, for Strix on. Uh, they've got the, the Z Forged, which is kind of like the, uh, the Blade Players Club. And then they've got the Z785 uh, Forged also, which is kind of an in between a blade and uh, a cavity back. That is kind of, you know, lower handicappers, decent golfers, um, a little bit more of an offset than the blade. The 785s were really good, but I didn't feel like, like I could work the ball as well, so if it was my choice, I'd definitely play these, uh, these forged. Uh, they're some of the best uh, irons on the market, I feel. Uh, definitely give these a shot, check them out if you're a good player. Uh, I think uh, th this will appeal to a lot of, a lot of players. Alright, so I just tried the 785s, Strixons. These things feel absolutely awesome. They're super, super soft coming off the face. Had a couple miss hits, but uh, the distance, I always judge iron by the miss hits. Uh, it didn't seem like I lost a ton of distance, maybe seven or eight yards from, at least from what I can tell visually out here. And uh, that's pretty much uh, on par with the irons that I play right now, which are the Taylor made uh, 770s. So these are very nice irons, very, very good feel. And, uh, I need to try out the blade. The coach said that one was even better. All right, so I just tried out the new uh, Cobra King 9. Uh, I'm not sure it was the right shaft for me, but this this thing was just coming hot off the face. It felt really solid. Uh, very similar to the Flash, actually, the Callaway Flash that we've been playing. It uh, just has a very penetrating ball flight. Um, like I said, the shaft wasn't great, so I you know, tend to push a couple to the left. Uh, didn't really have track man, so I couldn't tell the distance, but it looked like it was going pretty deep. And uh, definitely want to try one of these out on, uh, on track man and see what the numbers show. But I think it's going to be pretty competitive with some of the drivers that you guys saw on mics in my bag recently. I'll take two. <laughs> Not one and a half, I can one and a two and a half, please. Wow. So 
I just hit that 10 and a half. Uh, it was just really hot off the face. I like the feel, I like the sound. Uh, the ball flight was perfect. It seemed like it jumped off the face and the ball speed was probably pretty high. Even the shaft fit pretty well. I got the hazardous right now, Project Dex. Um, felt good. Highly recommend it. 10 and a half for me, I think it's perfect. And uh, the ball just carried. Uh, definitely like this driver. Go check it out and uh, give it a try. So we got Super Stroker out here today. Uh, this is the traction uh, grip. I think it's meant for like the claw, pencil kind of grips. And uh, it's perfect for me, feels really good. I've got it on my putter. Uh, this is a good product overall. Definitely really like the Super Stroker. Probably won't ever switch to anything else. And, uh, and if you're a claw putter, it's perfect. Right, we got some lefties here for the Big Cat. This is the Mira, famous iron from Japan. Let's see what he thinks of it. Well, it's gonna be it's gonna be wet, bounce the flatter, and the longer the blade lasts. All right, so I was just hitting the six iron, 801 CV cavity back. Uh, it felt super soft coming off the face. Uh, pretty similar to the Shrixon irons that I hit earlier today. Had a good sound, good feel. Uh, hit a couple a little bit off, and uh, distance seemed to be pretty on par with uh, one of the cured ones, maybe a little bit shorter. Um, overall, just a great feeling iron. Uh, I think the shaft was a little bit yeah, not the best fit. Faded a couple balls, but overall workability with it better than solid. And uh, yeah, I want to get a pair of these. I just had a chance to hit the Nippon, uh, I think it was the Tour 105 Modus 3 shaft. And uh, really good shaft, felt really soft in the hands. Uh, a little bit uh, a little bit softer than my Project Dex 6.0 that, that I have. Uh, had really good trajectory, the ball flight was going nice and high with the 6 iron. Probably a little bit higher than what I would normally see with my uh, current setup. Um, honestly, I might give those uh, give those shafts a try in my new set of irons whenever I do make that shift. Um, normally I was going to be pretty uh, pretty stuck with Project X 6.0s. Absolutely have had those in there forever, but those felt absolutely awesome. So give them a try if you guys ever get a chance, and I uh, highly recommend it. All right, so I just had a chance to hit the Titleist AP3s. Uh, they felt all right. Again, wrong shaft. I was kind of flaring the ball out. Uh, the distance was kind of way off. My pure one really was going 20 yards further. Overall, it's hard to say that it's a bad iron. I think it's more of a game improvement iron, even though I asked the guy in there kind of what I should be playing, considering I'm a one or two handicap, and he's like, they got tour players playing all of them. So it didn't really help me out there. Uh, and they didn't have a lot of options for lefties, so I think I really wanted to try the AP2s, but they didn't have them in lefty. Um, but yeah, the AP3s were just uh, not a good match for me. This could be dangerous. Uh, <laughs> I just make myself a helmet right here. Can I put this together? Yeah. Where's these Fuji boys at? What's up, guys? How are you? This is the one I wanted to try with my favorite shaft. Really? The one that actually got it. Dude, hell yeah. That's doing amazing. Let me put it together myself. Um, I don't know if I trust you doing that. Especially <laughs> rocking jeans and demo day jeans and a hoodie. Look at you, dude. Look at that. Yeah, we'll get you. We'll get you. You just can't wait, can you? I just can't wait. I want to try this thing out. I feel like I'm an ex-fitter, so I'm going with my shaft and the new King Cobra. Do I, three clicks or two? <laughs> Call this customer service around here. It's called DIY, dude. Venice is our newest shaft on the market right now. Uh, it features VelaCore technology, which essentially defines the structure of the shaft. It's, it's the bias core, and it's made up of 70 ton, pitch 70 ton, and HR4, so two really high modulus materials. Pitch 70 ton is super expensive, super super lightweight, super strong. And really what it does is it reduces twist throughout the swing and an impact. So the story is stability. This, this profile is an ultra stiff tip section. So you're gonna feel it a little bit in the hands, but down here you're not gonna feel it. So it promotes better center face contact and on your off center hits, the club is not gonna twist as much. Got it. So we're seeing better center face, higher ball speeds, but really better the dispersion has been phenomenal. So oh, yeah, which, and we've got everything from 50 to 80 gram, uh, every weight flex you can imagine, and yeah, people are really starting to like it. And these are just for driver or for all wood? Just driver wood, so okay, driver, driver fairway wood, yeah, no hybrid yet. Uh, we just have this one profile for the 
this year. Uh, they were launching right now, so pretty solid. Right? Is that even the right chef? If, if you're into that sort of thing, let me try this. Hey, so, all right, yes. so, all right, hang on, hang on, hang on. So you're telling me that this shaft is better than the speeder shaft that I got in my driver that I absolutely love? I'm not saying it's better. I'm saying it's an option. And I'm saying you should always get custom fit and find out which one's best for you. That's the kind of response we're looking for, yeah. guys. Yeah. That's why you go to Fuji. Go check them out. <laughs> best products on the market. You're gonna absolutely love them. And uh, check out the new shaft that they got, the Ventus. Uh, I can't wait to try it out. If I can get somebody over here to put a shaft in for me, it'd be great. We'll get you set up. We'll get you set up. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, this Ventus Chef is bomb, awesome, definitely go check it out from Fuji. These guys make the best chefs on the planet. Um, every chef that I've thrown in to every head, uh, whether it was the King Cobra or the Epic, they just all worked really great, so uh, definitely give it a shot. Yeah, we got a great, pretty cool, special I'm so glad you guys came by. Yeah, oh my sure. god, dude. Big cat. Into the breeze, that ball didn't oh, move. Feels good. Yeah. Right, right. Dang. Hammer. Tell us about that. This new Ventus shaft, I just tried it with the King Cobra F9, which you guys know we were already excited to try out. But like we said a million times in our videos, it's all about the shaft that you hit in these clubs. So being here at Fujikora, knowing their product, just getting a little bit of uh, info on it, I just put myself in an X-Flex here because that's what I play right now. And it just feels absolutely amazing. We're probably into about a 15 mile an hour wind right now into our face and this thing is just penetrating right through it. It looks like it has no spin on it. And uh, I bet you I'm hitting it about 280 right into that wind. So I want this combo right now. I wish I could take it with me. That's how good it is. Can't wait to get this in the bag. Happy New Year. How are we doing? How are you? Nice to see you. Are you good? How's it going? Good to see you. You alright? What's up, man? How are you? Nice to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. One, two, three. All right, so what do we got okay. going on? We got Sean Toulon here with Callaway, and uh, he, uh, he's the, the, the master behind the, the putters. Yeah. And uh, what can you tell us? Well, first of all, we're here at Demo Day. It's about a 30 mile an hour wind coming right here. It's, it's a little tough getting drivers into a 30 mile an hour wind. How about putters? Going to left and right. <laughs> Not bad, except for the divots are flying onto the green from behind us. Oh, look at somebody out here blowing <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, Stroke Lab has, has really been um, incredibly well received, so we're jacked up on it. Oh, I love it. I ordered one. I, it's, it's cool, isn't it? So we've had now, we had three wins as a prototype. Um, and then I think last week, six major tours were in play. I think we had over 60 of the Stroke Lab shafts in play. So, you know, really to get that kind of uptake that quickly. Um, Cool for us. Really so what, what's, the, uh, what's the difference between this shaft and everything else? So a normal putter shaft weighs about 115 to 120 grams. And honestly, they haven't really changed for 40 years. 40 years ago, putter heads used to weigh 280 grams. Now they weigh 360 grams, right? So they've gotten a lot heavier, and it's been because a wild change in agronomy. Remember the first time you heard a green was going to stimp at 10? Uh -huh. And now you're hearing yeah, sometimes 12, it's 13, 14. We just had Adam Hadwin, he says, I don't get nervous now until they tell me they're 50, right? So as greens have gotten so much faster, head weights have gotten heavier. This will also not take, take such a big stroke. The problem is, shaft hasn't changed, so now the shaft is really soft relative. And then in 2012, everybody started going to these really lightweight, big, oversized grips that instead of weighing 90 grams, weigh 50. So what happened is we just saw an explosion of swing weights up to like F3. You know, so you probably don't play F3 in your driver. No. Okay. So the, 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 the problem is it, it, the head has just gotten to be such a driver of the motion that's really difficult for golfers to control. So we did a bunch of studies and this is going to shock people, but the reason why golfers are going far better is because their strokes are <laughs> so you heard it from the man right here. <laughs> so uh, that's the truth. Uh, so what okay. we've worked on with this is to really improve the moment of inertia of the entire putter. So now we've seen a dramatic exhibit in the consistency of your backstroke, your ability to control. 
control the pace angle, which is everything in putting. So putting is about getting the ball online and making sure you get it at the right speed. It's helps you. So Sean just said you guys are going to guarantee to be a better putter if you get this shaft and his putting. You will. You will. For and sure. Is this a face balance? This uh, one is. Putter? Yeah. So which is. We, Pretty much every mallet we offer, either face face balance for somebody that doesn't want a lot of rotation, or with different necks to give us a little toe down, which will give you a little bit more flow. And you know, especially for a lot of golfers, right-handers that miss it to the right, typically they could use a putter with more rotation, something with a little bit more toe down. Yeah, I, I love this thing. Can I can I roll a couple? It's all yours, man. All right, so this is uh, is this a new design? Brand new. Yeah. Brand new. Yeah. Okay. So this is a new one for this year. We have a new kind of a teardroppy mallet called uh, Palm Beach, which is I think smoky. Yeah. And then we did a um, for Sergio, we did a blade last year uh, called Azalea. He named it after his daughter. Yeah. Okay. So this is it, huh? This thing looks beautiful. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, we I, I I think it turned out great. This is just that <laughs> iconic number seven shape. We wanted to do a couple of things differently. I really like to, to try to make all of the lines we can on a butter as crisp and clean but soft, but as parallel or as perpendicular to the face of the butter as you possibly can. So that when you're over a putt, you know, you can kind of focus on business, not on a bunch of kind of unorganized stuff going on. There's enough things going on in most people's brains over a putt. Why we made a butter look a certain way shouldn't be one. So I think that one that we hear often is just so kind of tidy and clean. And I'm a big fan. Guarantee to make everything with this butter right here. You heard it from Sean. Thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. Great to see you. Thanks, Sean. That's awesome. got the Odyssey Stroke Lab, it's called the Marksman, love it. It's got a little offset to it. It's got a little center line down the down the back of the shaft. And then I also have, uh, what is this, the, uh, the Stroke Lab uh, shaft that is tested to uh, improve your putting. Uh, feels great, coming off the face, really soft. Uh, I think it's got that really high MOI, which uh, everybody needs. And uh, I think it's gonna be the new one in the bag. So we did something a little bit different with the weighting here. You notice how big of a how big of a chunk of metal we have out here. So you know, with the stability frame, being able to cut out and fill out a lot of this metal here and leave it more towards the toe, it really changes the CG of the of the club. We can get the sweet spot more in the middle of the club instead of traditionally players' irons a little bit on the heel, right? So this is why so many guys are playing this club is because they can hit it on the center of the face and actually get the performance that they're supposed to get, right? Instead of kind of really try to hit it on the heel side of the club. So, I mean, I personally play this club. This one? Uh, yeah, and, 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 what, what about the uh, MP18? I mean, this is what we're obviously known right? for for this years. Like it's, a butter knife. it's a little bit of a butter knife. Yeah, obviously, it's very cool. traditional 1025 Elite Carbon Steel, which is now what we carried over into the JPX line as well. You get a little bit shinier finish, smaller profile, thinner top line, right? No offset. If you set these two seven, seven irons down, you're actually going to notice that the JPX it's has a little, a little, little bit more yep. offset than the MP line, and that's made that way on purpose, right? So, so you know, this this made us famous. We sell a lot of the JPX line because it kind of fits every golfer that is needed, including the new Hot Metal Pro, which is a true player's distance iron. So, so uh, you know, everything is won awards. Can't say anything yet, but uh, okay. but yeah. So hit both of these if you really want to try the true blade style irons, but you're going to notice that your miss hits here are going to be a little bit better than your miss hits here. Okay. Well, I miss it a lot. So. Well, I got faith in you. <laughs> <laughs> Brett, thanks, man. Yeah, no problem, man. Yeah. thing with this guy, we're going to talk about this. Uh, that I like the best. Uh, 
all of them that I hit here at Demo Day. Uh, the Mizuno JPX 919 Tour. Uh, by far, <laughs> the miss hits are great. Uh, the pure shots are even better. Uh, and it just feels great. I, I have a nice boring ball flight, a little slight draw. Um, so for me, this is definitely the best iron that I've hit so far. I've never been a Mizuno guy, yeah. you know, unfortunately. And like even the, the blend that you guys have didn't work for me. Yeah. This is the best iron that I've hit. Yeah. So the little bit of offset and that extra weight on the toe makes a huge difference of how playable that club is. That's, that's what a lot of people don't get. They're like, oh, I can't, I, no, I, I can't get that. You know, like, well, no, not everybody needs to play blades, but if you like that pin profile that everybody loves on blades, I don't care what handicap you are or how old you are, you know, you sit down and empty and you play that, you're like, golly, that's sexy, right? That is really sexy. And then they're like, I can't hit it. And then they hit it because of where the sweet spot is on that how high the CLR is all the way across the face. It is a playable player's game. It's not a true blade. It is a player's game. It's not a true blade. I felt like every time I hit a miss, it was still as good as a you know, pure hit. So I think the technology that you guys put in that made all the difference. And, yeah. you know, my ball flight's been a nice little baby draw. The ball time is the way I like it. Yeah. It feels good. So, so on the NBA team, you get more of a draw? A little bit more. Yeah, so it's, again, really solid. have you moved more weight as a toe, maybe a little more fade bias, right? Which is why a lot of guys now, like this is the tour. Or, uh, but it's just, it's well, super playable. You know, you know, what? It's, it looks intimidating to a lot of people, but once you really, you know, get in there and hit it, like, you can play this. And that's the whole point of the JTX line, is that that line, we have an iron for every single person. Why? We try at the ground level as a salesperson. I don't like to think of myself as a salesperson or a territory manager, but when you think about that, just put it in people's hands. Just, and we will win. We will win. I mean, you just saw who was here, right? And what she's played. And she tested everything. And she's playing hot metals. So, you know, which is traditionally a game improvement iron, but even our game improvement iron, you set it down, it doesn't look like a game improvement iron. Our game improvement iron looks better than a lot of other stuff out there. So, uh, we're, it, yep. the performance fits for ourselves. We don't have to try to sell it, we don't have to do anything. Just stick it in people's hands and it's going to win. And you're seeing that down here. I mean, how busy the wood section is up here. That hasn't happened for us in a long time, the buzz there, the golf ball. What do you think of it? How's it feel? Everything feels great yeah. right now, you know. So that's we're we're becoming a global golf brand, not an iron brand. We're becoming a global golf brand. That golf ball right there, uh, which I don't know, if it had or not, but you know, it has a nice run bird there on it. We have the RB Tour, and we'll have an RB Tour X of it as well. Uh, but this is going to be a global golf ball. This We're not going to have different versions around the world. This golf ball, you'll be able to go anywhere that Mizuno has offered and get this golf ball. And it's a complete package. And there will be more details come out about it, about our dimples and stuff like that as, as the week goes on. What's the best way to get a hold of a set of Mizuno irons? I mean, the Mizuno brain is growing. We're getting more... Uh, you know, fitting carts and everything out there like that. So you're going to start seeing this brand more and more and more. Our uh, national retailers are really jumping on board with all the new product as well. So the masses are going to be able to go just about anywhere and be able to test out this Mizuno product. And we're excited about it. All right, guys, so we just finished up over here at Demo Day, and we're going to go over the top five things that we saw, that products that we liked. And uh, let's start with number five. So we're going to start at the bottom of the list. All right, so number five for us was the stability shaft and the Odyssey and two-on putters. I think it's going to be the, the new evolution of golf uh, for putting. Uh, the shaft felt great. Uh, you heard Sean mention it earlier that uh, the shaft is really changing the, the way putting is, is going down right now. Uh, it, it helps the face angle, helps you get back to square, and uh, overall just feels really good. So you guys have seen the stability shaft in uh, Mark's putter, who's been on the channel a few times. His putting has vastly improved. And uh, rolling a few putts with his putter and out here, absolutely love it. I want to try it out and uh, get it in play. And uh, yeah, I think it's one you guys absolutely have to check out. So for number four, I had a chance to hit the Strixon irons. Can't tell you exactly what model, but you guys will see it in this video. Absolutely love those irons. Hit a ton of irons today. Those were probably my favorite, uh, along with another that's going to come in this list as well. But very impressed with the Strixon irons. They were soft off the face. The miss hits were going 
five, seven yards further, at least from what I can tell, or I mean shorter, five, five to seven yards shorter than the pure shots, which is always a really good way to tell uh, how good the irons are and the dispersion. Uh, when you did pure one, it didn't fly 20 yards further. It was very consistent, and uh, I was absolutely in love with those. All right, so number three on our list was the King Cobra driver. Man, the thing was hot. It felt really good off the face. I felt like the ball speed increased a little bit off that head. Uh, absolutely loved it. My misses were really good. Didn't flare anything out to the right. Played a nice little baby draw with it. I'd like to test it out with the new Fujikura shaft and put that combo together. I have to agree with Mike. The F9 driver from uh, King Cobra was absolutely awesome. Had the same experience as he did. It was just a very penetrating ball flight. Uh, didn't see any kind of crazy spin with balls ballooning. Um, and it looked like it was just it was just piercing through the wind. We had about a 15 to 20 mile an hour wind all day out here. So um, can't wait to get that thing on the track band and see what the numbers show. And number two on our list is going to be the Fujikura Ventus shaft. Uh, we absolutely love it. It's gonna be really tough, don't get me wrong, to get me out of my speeder shaft, but the Venus shaft is uh, comparable, and I'd like to test it a little bit more. Uh, loved it, felt great. Uh, boring ball flight misses were great. Uh, overall, uh, probably one of the top shafts, top two shafts that uh, I've ever hit. Yeah, uh, one of the biggest things I noticed with the Venice was the dispersion with the driver. Uh, I hit probably 10 or 15 balls with it with the F9 head in that shaft, and I was absolutely in love. I don't know how far they were going, but it, it felt like it was at least as far as my epic flash, if not a little further. But the biggest thing was that dispersion rate. I mean, I just couldn't miss with it, which is a very good feeling to have with the driver. And number one on our list was the Mizuno irons. They were absolutely amazing. They, they, they blew everything out of the water. Uh, to be honest, I don't think I've ever hit a better iron shaft uh, head combo in my life. It was just overall, uh, the dispersion was by far the best I've ever had. I had a nice little baby uh, draw with it. You couldn't even rip that club out of my hands. I was just on the on the drive range, just hitting balls left and right. Definitely the most uh, amount of balls I hit on the range were uh, with those irons, and everyone just felt great. I hit the MP18 Mizuno. They didn't have the ones that Mike was hitting that it looked like he was having such a good time with. I wanted a piece of those, but I hit the MP18s, and it was the same. I had the same experience. Just super soft off the flight face, very consistent ball flight, and uh, nice boring ball flight. And and I can't wait to get those in the bag, hopefully. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoy this top five list. Uh, we had an awesome time out here at Demo Day. And uh, hit a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you guys are enjoying these. And there's going to be more course vlogs coming up. So uh, we're playing some more courses out here. Right? It's going to be a good trip. It already is. Yep. All right. Later, guys.